all transactions should be open. I look at that and I think, you know, that is not the real world. You know, we can talk about the origins, particularly around Bitcoin and to some of the degree other tokens has been this idea of, hey, we're going to circumvent governments. We're going to, we don't want the government involved. We're going to circumvent banks. Look, I, I, Ripple, we, we come at it from exactly the opposite point of view. Governments aren't going away. By extension, banks are definitely not going away. We can enable banks to enable an internet of value. If you want to enable an internet of value, you have to connect the repositories of value. The repositories of value are the banks. We want to work with the banks, with financial institutions, with payment providers, with Linlin Pay or PayPal or you know, fill in blank to dramatically accelerate the nature of how payments occur today and reducing that friction. Join me live on Twitter Spaces at 8 p.m. this September 16th for the launch of World Liberty Financial. We're embracing the future with crypto and leaving the slow and outdated big banks behind. We want a cashless society. It costs us $5 billion for checks and cash to move around our company. You want to cash the society. We are driving towards a fast but We have more to gain than anybody, in a sense, from a pure operating cost. Uber. Bitcoin, self-driving cars, combine those three together and you have the self-owning taxi. A car that is a corporation that owns itself, pays for the car lease, the car insurance, and the gasoline from the revenues it makes, giving passengers a ride, and there's not a single human involved in that matter. Going to a different economy. And we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're, going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it will be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers in Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. And so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box. Uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. But every stock, every bond, every currency, every commodity, every piece of art, every private business, every piece of real estate will eventually be a token on a blockchain, an entry on a ledger, permanent and immutable. We will have truth instead of trust, and we will save over $7 trillion a year. Six to 8% of global GDP is wasted by the friction of the trust industry that's necessary when you have dual entry accounting. With triple entry accounting, which is what a blockchain is, mm -hmm. we get rid of all of that friction. It's a beautiful future. Like what you see in China and their social credit scoring systems, right? If we get identity wrong, you know, it could be a tool to enslave humanity. And if we get it right, it could be a tool to liberate humanity as an American. You know, uh, uh, I'm obviously rooting for the, the one that's on the side of freedom. Bitcoin is an international asset. And also, I do believe the role of crypto is, um, it is, it, it, it's digitizing gold. I actually believe this technology is going to be very important. I am, I, you know, look at it. We have been part of a huge revolution in investing through ETFs. We believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. Many people still use it as a means, well, people are investing it f for indexing. No, the majority of people who are putting money in an index, in an ETF are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we could have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial uh, seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. 
And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. The Chinese bank ICBC has been hit by a ransomware attack, and the U.S. Treasury market, as a result of that, um, has been disrupted. This, according to the Financial Times, we're going to get more right now with Bloomberg's Shanali Bassick. Shanali, what do we know? Uh, listen, we have the Financial Times now reporting that ICBC, one of China's largest banks here, was hit with a ransomware attack. And remember, they're a, a, a very significant intermediary in the Treasury market. The SIFMA has told his members that this has been part of the reason here uh, that the system is kind of clogged up, if you will, during that auction that we saw a little bit before. The attack had prevented ICBC, according to the Financial Times, from settling treasury trades on behalf of other market participants. A large executive at a major bank also telling the paper that such a large party on the fixed income clearing corp uh, creates major concerns, uh, potentially impacting the liquidity of treasury markets. Now it was not just the poor auction. It was absolutely lousy, and, and uh, uh, you know, when, when the dealers have to step in to save a treasury auction, uh, that's a rare occurrence. And Welcome, Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. Teacher, and guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works, because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book. Remember, the New Road Order book shows you how the world really works, and it is definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. And 2024 is going to be one of our most entertaining years. We have the presidential election. We have the drums of beating. We have the emerging markets going to be flipping the switch on the fourth industrial revolution. Now, we had the Fed signal rate cuts, but remember, guys, they haven't cut rates yet. And we know the massive magicians are about to set up that distraction so they can cut rates while we still have inflation. And in the fourth quarter, once the election is over, the movie begins. And also, guys, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. Guys, if you're not a part of the Patreon, make sure you're donating to the channel through the actual Cash App. But guys, this next Bitcoin and crypto bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure you have the cryptos that have real utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And right now we have Bitcoin and crypto pulling back. We have the S&P and the NASDAQ pulling back. The Russell and the Dow is slightly up. But then also, guys, we have the VIX that pulled back, but it is creeping up slightly. And like I told you guys, this week is going to be a roller coaster ride. We know they like the market to look decent when Jerome is in the house. And don't forget the yen now is an indicator. What Japan does is so important for the global economy. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now, do not forget to pay attention to the extra indicators. We have yield rates right now down. And like I told you, once Jerome Powell cuts, yield rates are going to start moving back up. Also, we have the dollar down again, guys. Make sure you're paying attention to Japan's yen. And then we have volume and crypto right now up. We have Tether and USDC. And then, of course, guys, we have the Fed. The repo of the $284 billion on Friday. Make sure you're pulling that on a daily basis during the week. And we finally get the anticipated rate cut this week. And, of course, the media is going to play the Hegelian dialectic, whether it's 25, whether it's 50. At the end of the day, guys, it's too late. The damage has already been done in the legacy economy. But whether it's 25 basis points or 50, the media is going to spin it in a good way. And after this meeting, we skip October. And like I stated, rates are going to be creeping back up. Then we have a meeting in November and December, which we know they're going to cut rates. 
and that'll probably give us a slight year-end rally. We know the holidays, consumers are going to be out spending money they don't have, but we know at the end of the day, they're still going to be spending money. They're going to be picking up those second jobs so they can spend the money. But from now to March of 2025, it's definitely going to be a movie because we're going to have the new administration in and they have to decide how they're going to start cutting this budget. And then on top of it, guys, we see all this technology slowly moving in. AI and the machines are definitely going to be taking over this economy. The technology is already there. They just need that crisis to bring it in. And we know that crisis is the drums are beating cyber attacks, but they're all illusions by the bank to distract the sheep. And while the sheep are distracted, they get to build this fourth industrial revolution. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now we have Bitcoin, Ethereum, spot ETFs. We have BlackRock, Fidelity, and Grayscale. Bitcoin, Ethereum, spot ETFs right now down. And getting over into a little crypto news. We have Binance's CZ out on September 29th. And as we see, Binance hasn't missed a beat because, guys, remember, this is all part of a big plan. And we have Binance and KuCoin will use the digital asset technology to airdrop tokens for Vietnam's typhoon victims. And I have a lot of questions when it comes to that. They say crypto is used in Vietnam the most. They're number three. But then at the same time, they say crypto is illegal for payments. And we know it takes steps in order to get an airdrop. So that's an interesting situation. Most likely that money is going to fall in the same hands. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now we have Circle teams up with Sony Block Solution Labs. And Sony Sonium's will integrate bridge USD standards. So basically, they're going to be using this tokenized dollar as their main crypto. And lastly, guys, don't forget we post to have more entertainment tonight if it's not canceled. Of course, we had the Trump assassination attempt yesterday, but we know Trump is supposed to launch his DeFi project tonight. So we see the movie continues. And what is this movie doing just pushing adoption for this new digital economy. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Because he knows when it comes to the NWO, it's all planned out. But guys, that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books. Crypto teacher and the new world order book. Plus the three kids books. It's time to re-educate. Also, new to cryptos, Coinbase, Bitchu, Bunnets. Do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The stock channel, guys. Don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip size, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, get on stocks to see where the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come, Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis. Whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends, so therefore we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the Fourth Industrial Revolution Foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video.
part one. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part two. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID 33. Part three. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.